Here we have 6.5 introduction to square root multiplication. And actually when we were simplifying the simplifying radicals, we were actually already doing square root multiplication. When we had two square roots together, we went ahead and multiplied the insides together. So nothing different is happening here actually. You're still using that one rule that says as long as these two insides radicals are real numbers, then you can multiply them together. As well as split them apart. As long as this, um, these two individual guys are real numbers, you can split the square root. So you can go in both directions since they are equivalent statements. So for this instance, we would have the square root of 5 times 2, which is 10. And you don't have any pairs of each one for anything to come out, so you just multiply the 5 and the 2 together. Whereas this problem is a little bit different. I multiply 3 times 3 on the inside, that is a pair, and it can be written as 3 squared. And then the square root and the square cancel, and you just end up with 3 without a house at all. Now here is the same thing. Instead of the square root on the outside and the square on the inside, this is the reverse. The square is on the outside now and the house is on the inside. But it really doesn't matter which is on the inside and which is on the outside. A square root and a square will undo each other, which will leave you with just the six and no more house. Okay, so it doesn't matter if it looks like this or if it looks like this bottom one. If you have a square root and a square, they will cancel each other out. If you have a square root and a square, they will cancel each other out.